Hello everyone. Recently I set about converting SVG files into three-dimensional files ready for 3D printing, so I thought I'd show you that process today. I'm starting out on a website called Tinkercad, so it's tinkercad.com, and I'm creating a new design. So I need to import my SVG file. There are other options where you can import different file types, but SVG is the one I'm looking for because I've created it to use with cutting machines. However, this process is going to convert that into a three-dimensional format. Because it was created in Illustrator, I've got the choice of art or art board. So I'm going for the art. And then I'm setting the initial size that it's going to be imported as in um, real world sizing. So that's millimeters. And there, very quickly and easily, is my three-dimensional design of that um, doily SVG. Now I can double check um, the measurements and I can edit now that it's in the software. And I'm going to change the height of the extrusion to two millimeters instead of 10. And I'm just going to double check the overall size as well. So that's right, that's in 100 millimeters on each edge, just about. So now I'm ready to export that and I will export it as an STL file. You can edit as, uh, sorry, you can export as OBJ, OBJ as well if you wish. Um, and there we go. That's that process done. So I'm now going over to my 3D printing driver and I'm going to find and load that design. And there we have it. That's now imported as the 3D file into my printer driver. So the next stage for me to do is to slice that and get it ready for printing. So I will do that now using the printer driver software. And there we go. That process is now complete and I know how long it's going to take and how much filament I will need. Obviously, once that's printed out, you can then use that in any of your real world projects. So, for example, in this canvas, I used it as a background for the 3D printed angel. And then on this design, I used part of it for a background in an altered alarm clock. There were other three dimensional elements that I printed and used in that project too. The same process will work with SVG files of words and sentiments. So that's the quick and easy process for converting SVG to STL. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, share the video with your friends and give it a like. See you again next time.